Hi, I'm Joni Petrie, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, today I want to talk about some deeper aspects of what Neptune means when it's conjunct the moon. Because Neptune being with the moon will bring out, most specifically, psychic abilities. And the one person that I find fascinating about psychic abilities is Edgar Cayce. For those of you that don't know who Edgar Cayce was, he was one of the most prolific psychics of the 20th century. Check him out. He, has, he, would, he was called the sleeping prophet. He would go into these trance medium sessions and start talking in a different voice, come up with information that is beyond this world. And of course, this little farm boy had no recollection of this, any of this, and didn't even remember any of the things that he said when he awoken. And so many times, well, for most of all, he loved to use this tool for healing. And he would be given someone's name and location, and he would give a diagnosis, and he would also prescribe mental, medical treatments. And 99.9 .9 of the times, he was right. He was almost never wrong. And all of this is documented in Virginia Beach at the Casey Center, the Edgar Casey Center. But one thing I wanted to point out is I wanted to show you some interesting things in his chart. So let's put up the chart of Edgar Casey right up here. And the one thing that I want you to be aware of, his ascendant is in Cancer. So when I look at the ascendant, I always say that the planet that rules the ascendant is going to be the planet that becomes a focal point throughout your life. Why? Because it's your chart ruler. And notice where his, where his moon goes, the planet that rules Cancer, so the moon is his chart ruler. Notice where the moon goes, his 10th house. With what? Neptune. Neptune is the planet that brings out psychic abilities, and it was in his career house. Who would have thought when this this man was a young boy that he would become a psychic. This was not the plan. And actually he had a near death experience where he almost drowned. And in that, once he came to, that was where his psychic powers came alive through this near death experience. So this is the power of Neptune with the moon. But one more thing I want to leave you with is really taking a look at the eighth house. In his chart, he has a loaded eighth house. And the eighth house is the house of psychic ability. It deals with a lot of, well, it deals with near-death experiences. It deals with death. It can deal with scandals, disgrace. It can deal with psychology. It is the house that deals with psychoanalysis. But most of all, what is beyond this world? Mediums and psychics have very strong eighth houses. And in his eighth house, which is Aquarius, he has Venus, Saturn, and Mercury. And what else do we have? We have Rahu, which is intense, which intensifies everything all the more. So to have all of these planets here in the eighth house is phenomenal. And if you'll notice Saturn rules Aquarius, remember we use the old rulerships. And so the ruler of the eighth house, Saturn, is in the eighth house. That is really exemplifying and intensifying this house for psychic ability and awareness. And you think that Saturn would dull it, but no, Saturn is a focus, especially when it's in its own sign. And it is with Mercury, which focalizes what? His psychic ability. And by the way, you may not know this, but Mercury is the only planet that does not lose strength in the eighth house and actually gives the ability for research and analysis going deep. So the Saturn Mercury are there 
With Rahu, Rahu, whenever it's with planets, intensifies and magnifies them, makes that all more powerful. So this is a powerful combination. And last but not least, we have Venus there. And Venus being in this house brings even more depth, but being connected in conjunct Saturn, this really did dull and harm the ability to, to have uh, relationships. In other words, it gives a sense of isolation. There's a sadness here in this chart, I will say. But knowing that he was such a prolific psychic and this was, this was actually what he brought to the world. And thinking about his Mercury being in the eighth house, Mercury in his chart, it rules the 12th and it rules the third, the 12th house being the house of psychic ability as well. So Mercury being strengthened by being actually in the eighth house, dealing with research and analysis, rules the 12th house and bringing the 12th house, which is another house that deals with psychic ability, ruler of the 12th in the eighth and it is conjunct Saturn in its own sign. And with, with Venus, here's another, here's another house that deals with psychic ability. Venus in this chart rules the fourth house. So you see the ruler of the fourth being Venus and the ruler of the 12th together in the house of psychic ability, the eighth, is bringing together these moksha houses that deal with psychic awareness. So the moksha houses are the houses, and moksha, by the way, means spiritual liberation from this world. These are the spiritual houses, but usually we don't come to our spirituality unless there's some type of loss or problems. But this is what these houses force us to do. So these I consider the water houses because they're relative to the water signs. Because the fourth house is relative to the fourth sign Cancer, the eighth house is relative to the eighth sign Scorpio, which is water, and the twelfth house is relative to the twelfth sign Pisces, which is water. So we have Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, the water signs that exemplify these houses, and these are the houses of psychic ability. Because of this, the water deals with the psychic. And so therefore, to have the ruler of the twelfth with the ruler of the fourth in the, with, in the eighth, with the ruler of the eighth, this is indicative of this man's profound and prolific psychic abilities. So with that, I'd like to close. And if you would like to learn more about Vedic astrology, or you would like to learn Vedic astrology, you can go to my university website, which is university of Vedic astrology.com and realize I'm starting a whole new session of new students where they all come together with our live webinars. This will begin January of 2020, January 15th. So I look forward to seeing you in class. And if you would like more information on me or you would like a consultation, you can go to my website, which is galacticcenter.org. Thank you.